We hear from the local Centura CEO two months after confirming Colorado's first case of COVID. Phil Lindemann, Crystal 93 News. First, I-70 traffic is slowly returning to Summit County in week two of Safer at Home rules. More than 54,000 vehicles went through both sides of the Eisenhower Tunnel Friday through Sunday, 10,000 more than the previous weekend. Daily traffic hit a six-week high this past Friday with 19,218 vehicles, still down 39% compared to daily averages from May 2018, down 41% compared to May 2019. Summit Sheriff wrote six tickets Saturday and Sunday for illegal parking at Tenderfoot Trailhead in Dillon, one of the only dry local systems for mountain biking. Deputies wrote eight tickets total, including one each at Peaks Trailhead in Frisco and French Gulch in Breck. They counted 252 cars at 21 local trailheads, half as many as the previous weekend. Deputies also responded to 33 calls countywide for health order violations, five more than last weekend, most related to gathering size and face masks. No fines were issued. A hiker was caught, carried, and injured by an avalanche in the Sangre de Cristo Saturday while glissading on foot through a snowfield. The CAIC reports the hiker was slipping down snow on Horn Peak, a 13er just north of the sand dunes, when a wet slab released, carrying the hiker nearly 1,000 vertical feet. The person was buried to their neck and suffered multiple injuries, which required an airlift to the hospital. Six other people in the hiking group were uninjured. Colorado's first case of COVID-19 was confirmed at St. Anthony Summit Medical Center in Frisco two months ago today. And since then, the hospital has treated at least 100 people with the virus. CEO Lee Boyles. We've seen some very critically ill folks and we've seen them of all demographics and ages as well. Just 20 of those local cases were taken to the front range, usually for respiratory issues. And the hospital never reached capacity, especially compared to typical spring skiing season. Our hospital has no or even come close to being overrun by any means. You know, right now is when the resorts close. We're like a lot of businesses. Our volume really dries up quickly. Boyles is confident the hospital is ready for any potential summer surge. We've prepared for the worst from the very beginning, and that has, thank God, not hit us in Summit County. But there will be second waves. There will be surges. There will be as, you know, travelers do come up here who can potentially bring it into our community. Last week, Centura launched daily testing for anyone with COVID symptoms. And you can schedule a test now over the phone by calling 970-668-5584. That's 668-5584. Summit Chamber is reaching local entrepreneurs and small business owners at home in quarantine right where they are with weekly virtual workshops. Chamber member Amy Kemp. We recognized that business owners really needed support and part of that was emotional support and the other part was just education and information. Next event in that virtual series is tomorrow at 9 a.m. sponsored by Summit Chamber, Elevate Co-Space and Red Buffalo Coffee in Silverthorne. That's tomorrow 9 a.m. Get signed up through the Crystal 93 events page on Facebook. This morning was the debut of Summit's Essential Personnel Support Program when Breakfast on Main Street Breck donated 16 meals to Red, White & Blue Fire. On Wednesday, Pure Kitchen in Frisco is donating 10 meals to Frisco Police, and Lily's Bistro in Dillon is sending 5 meals to the Crystal 93 Studios, where DJs are keeping you informed 7 days a week, rain, shine, and virus. The ice melt device is now swimming Lake Dillon. The local Rotary Club's ice melt device dropped into the drink this past Saturday, May 2nd, five days earlier than last year, four days earlier than 2018, but two weeks later than 2017. The Rotary Club now waits to retrieve the device and learn the exact second that it plunged. Winner gets $4,000 and two runners-up split three grand based on the closest to actual time it fell in. In sports, Don Shula, the most decorated head coach in NFL history, died early this morning. He was 90 years old. Shula won 347 games, most of them with the Miami Dolphins, including 1972, the only undefeated season in league history. And in local sports, brought to you by Wilderness Sports in Dillon, Summit High senior Grace Stayberg was on a tear this schemo season, winning two Junior World Cup vertical races in Europe and finishing top three at several individual events, before coronavirus hit, canceling the finals. After this winter, I had a bit of unfinished business, if you will. A virus derailed one season for Staberg, but she will not let it interrupt her young career. I wanted to win the vertical overall title, 
and then hopefully win the vertical race at the World Cup final, there's always another winter. You'll find the teenager running and biking local trails until fall when she defers college by one year to again chase her dream of Schemo World Cup glory. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.